All right, so this is a, uh, some sort of scar. Let's see what it says on the back. Nope, nothing. So it's from Scar though. And so I'm gonna use this. This is an adapter that was tooled up by, you know, it doesn't say sundown on it, so it might be open tool. Yeah, I would just do open tool on it. I'll hit up my, my awesome vendor that gets me all the cool shit. So what I do is um, typically I just put it in between the spokes. You can line it up with the spokes and that's what these cutouts are a little for. So they, they sit on the ridges. So, uh, you know, but this is the four spoke 18 and typically um, I don't like to use a 10 inch spider on here just simply because there's not enough down travel uh, to warrant it. That's all. Uh, but you know, this is, looks like a 60 millimeter coil, three and a half inch. It's kind of an oddball, so I had to salvage it. But um, I'll go ahead and do the 10 inch spider on this one. Um, and then from here down, that should be good enough clearance, especially if it was, if this was three and a half or four inch. So if it's, if it's three inch, that's, that's a lot of travel, but uh, whatever, either way. Um, I, I think the 10 inch spider is justified on this one, so it's fine. Um, and the, the trick will be finding a cone that can aid in that. So, but uh, you have to, you know, it's probably a good idea for me to try some stuff first. And then what you do is you look, you got to neck it out first for three and a half, because the more you neck it out, the, the sh more shallow it gets. So neck it out for three and a half, and then uh, see, make sure it's going to be uh, flat with that, even like that. See, you can see where the the cone is going to be just by looking at it this way. So, but uh, on these, what I do is um, I drill for a number six, and then I bolt to each spoke. So that way this is nice and secure. This does have like uh, grooves in it, which I think is supposed to be filled with epoxy, I imagine, or CA, just CA. Like especially because the, they use the gel uh, cyanacrylate. But um, I think that was it. But right now everybody's short on these frames and people are like, oh, I'll buy it. And I'm like, no, this is for somebody else. So get your own. But, um, uh, I don't know, I don't have any real feelings about the, the six book. I mean, it's very affordable for sure, especially if you're buying a hundred from China, but um, yeah, recycle them, make them count, dude. Uh, I made some woofers I put together with you know, a bunch of weird soft parts today and they turned out pretty fucking great. So these are some uh, Sundown E-Series that had shifted motors. I replaced the magnets and then uh, the, the they gotta get a final uh, one ohm load and the, I had some two ohm dual two copper coils and I ended up taking off uh, one coil on each one and it works like a champ. So, uh, and then I put the, the T1 aluminum caps on there for the face, um, but I think that was it. Yeah, oh, I got this one. I forgot I was gonna use the Gonzo cones. This is the dual uh, 0.25 ohm. So in series that ends up being half an ohm and then there's gonna be two of them, so that's one ohm. So. It's always a good coming. I got these coming in uh, 12s and 15s. I think I got 50 or 100 coming. So uh, ZV5 recone. Have to recycle the coil. It's a really long coil. Uh, looks like copper, or they did copper tabs. And then I got to do you, what you do is you you can solder to this part and then drill up, and then that way you have a real copper wire going to the uh, the tinsel on top. So. And then you just encapsulate the whole thing with epoxy and then it's good as new so but uh doing some mini hulks today that while well, on the quad stack junior uh and then i got um i think this is one of four for corey i'm waiting for him to get back to me about which cap he wants these are his 21s so detachable top assembly one ohm this is one of four so but uh I don't know, maybe later tonight I'll do some more videos. I love you guys. Talk to you later.